what a day, right? Everything is so red, including Bitcoin, not only altcoins, but just completely bloody day. Okay, um, let's look at the price. But before that, uh, let's just quickly review some of the news which we had during the past 24 hours. And this one is interesting. Bitwise file, files for new Bitcoin ETF with SEC, SEC. Uh, what they say that they believe the crypto trading ecosystem has evolved in a significant way in the past, past year. Having a regulator bank or trust company hold physical assets of a fund has been the standard under United States fund regulation for the last 80 years. And we believe that it is now possible with Bitcoin. What they are supposed to do, uh, about to do, they will fund uh, um, their fund will track would track the Bitwise Bitcoin total return index, which measures the value of Bitcoin plus any meaningful hard forks, which is quite vague statement, but still anyway, uh, looks bullish. Uh, if we'll have one more ETF, and they believe that 2019 will be the year of Bitcoin ETF launches, well, that's that's cool. That will definitely pump the price and increase the adoption and um, the increase the demand and scarcity as well of the Bitcoin. The second news is this one. Well, there are a lot of them, but this one I would just like to, man to share with you guys. Cryptocurrency analysts predict the end of the Bitcoin bear market. 20% of Bitcoin current supply might never move again. And they are basically tracking the um, uh, activity of transactions of Bitcoin during the bear market period and at the bottom of the bear market it's they seem to be similarity between the previous drop uh, from 1000 to 200 and right now and they are saying that probably we may have a chance to see the bottom either already saw the bottom or maybe we'll see it in the first quarter like beginning of 2019 so quite positive um, although it's just the analysis, not, not necessarily correct one, because the market is um, not logical, illogical. So uh, be careful with uh, trading this. Anyway, looks positive in my opinion. Now let's look at the chart. And what we have now is that we broke this huge triangle, which we looked at yesterday. Actually, shall, I, I shall uh, tell you the major things and then I will conclude it with my standpoint on the matter. So let's see. First, again, we broke this huge triangle, which we talked about yesterday. And actually, I didn't mention yesterday, but there is an article, for example, this one, uh, which basically repeats what I told a couple of days before that about the triangle over here, which looks bearish and we need to confirm uh, our bullish trend by breaking this triangle. If otherwise, we will return to the bullish uh, bearish side and have a chance to go much lower. So we did this uh, triangle uh, break, uh, break down to the downside and some optimists are uh, drawing a new triangle, but still, <clears throat> still it is a rather uh, alarming signal this this breaking another thing is we broke the 50 days moving average on bitcoin this is now uh, bitfinex but anyway it's very similar to all the other exchanges so here we broke it quite down uh, quite low lower than it was uh, around here and it is also a bearish signal another bearish signal is that we don't have that much of the rise of the shorts like usually when the panic is there and the drop the the, the goal of the drop to collect the liquidity uh, it happens by the increased number of shorts now it doesn't happen so at the same at the same time the num time the number of longs didn't drop that much as well so still market has the room to fall because it's easier to uh, fall than to grow right now uh, looking at these two parameters and the last thing is the total capitalization of altcoins which didn't fall of course it's like 10 15 percent drop uh, from the previous high uh, but it didn't drop that much as i would expect to happen with such a drop of bitcoin price so again 
there is enough room to fall for the capitalization of altcoins either and in fact although you can see this 5 10 7 percent of the drop uh, with respect to bitcoin of a lot of altcoins but still it's it's not there is no that much of the panic yet at least in my opinion like those for example as like tron is still in the positive uh, territory and like, having some gains uh, with respect to bitcoin and and there are some others as well not in my list though but in any case i think that those all those signals are pretty much bearish and if you would follow the general classical approach you would expect the price to go lower right now maybe to a lower low like what we have 2900 or something like that uh, moreover if we look at the fibonacci retracement which we drew several weeks ago uh, we would see that we pretty much followed the retracement levels again right right here when we stopped uh, of this drop actually it looks pretty much as a bear flag and then we stopped at the new retracement level the last of the second retracement le level around here with uh, matching our previous support resistance level which we drew again like more than a month ago i think and the point is um all of those indicators show okay we need to go maybe to this level and then lower and so on but but what I do what I do see here and this is my personal opinion don't follow my <laughs> my advice it's not an advice actually whatsoever not a financial one at least um, what I do see here is first we are in this channel right in this channel we continue to go above and below this channel several times so again here we collected a lot of stop orders here the same thing tried a little bit around this in these areas and then we made a huge um, collection of the stops around these areas and actually gain a lot of liquidity by moving this this way and then dropping um, i would say we actually could be even more bullish um, more, more let's say collect even more liquidity if we'll go in this area but probably it, it may ignite the rally higher that maybe whales don't, didn't want to so it dropped down and we now are basically collecting again the liquidity below the bottom of this channel what i would think reasonable to happen for those who try to accumulate in this area whatever um, side direction we want to go from this channel up or down i think we need to uh, go a little bit lower to collect this liquidity over here and possibly this liquidity over here in my personal personal opinion it's easier to um, go downwards right as we see from many indicators however i think that there are two different uh, possibilities in the, on the market to make profits first for example when you see the trend of the uh, asset for example this trend like we go we went up 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 and if you are longing the position of the bitcoin bitcoin then you are in the profit at the same time when you see the uh, like such not a saturation but very the peak of the trend you may play a contrarian card and then you short it and then again you will make a lot of profits so it's really hard to define where is to uh, where is the point to follow the trend and where is to play a contrarian card so concluding what i'm seeing here is in my personal opinion again just what i my, my sort of guts feeling is that right now everything it looks so much bearish that i would prefer to be a contrarian here maybe not a uh, super one because if we'll go like lower maybe 3400 uh, it the things may go nasty and we will really go the lower low or at least retest this bottom but before that i would consider a high chance to collect the liquidity around here and then go at least to this area maybe not to like 5000 or something but at least to this area 
and from that point we can see whether we will go up or down it's it's not clear it depends on the market and uh, those huge players who are driving the price but currently i would i would prefer to stay against the crowd and going long um, but i don't i'm not buying more i just will hold those alts and those btc positions which i have i don't i wouldn't want to go into fiat and the last but not least uh, thing which I'm I pay I'm paying attention right now is the evolution of the tether price. And what we see with tether is recently we have a lot of the volume around here. Again, it may be the fact that a lot of the Bitcoin were, were uh, bitcoins were sold uh, and people went to tether. But this is actually tether to USD. And my personal opinion that that this looks more bearish oh sorry more bullish than bearish and the reason is first again as soon as we are above one dollar mark uh it technically an indication of the bull period and second <clears throat> i would guess uh, that it is more likely that a lot of more funds more um, even even fiat were transferred to to usdt or at least more USDT were uh, produced in order to support the price of Bitcoin and in order to um, sort of accumulate Bitcoin through tethers. So the more tether we have right now, the more chance uh, the tether will be moved into Bitcoins eventually. And we are stay staying in this area for a while the same as we stayed in the bitcoin uh, channel before and now it is time well maybe now not now but it, it seemed like we're closer and closer to the time of move to like 1.02 1.025 where the price of bitcoin will be even higher so if it will go lower than one dollar and like show like this action going low 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 then i may consider this to be invalid or at least the correlation uh, is correct, but we are in the bear territory for Bitcoin. But until then, I'm staying optimistic. And yeah, that's, that's the thing which sort of keeps me um, believing that we are still technically not in the midterm mid bearish trend, at least not on the way to up update the low which we had before um yeah yeah that's that's it so if you think it's reasonable please leave a comment uh if you if you think it's not please uh again uh, write why why do you think so and hope to see you tomorrow in the next update safe trading guys goodbye